Yeah, so we were talking about like jack, 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 <laughs> jacking, jacking off, and and we were talking about being the the a jack of all trades. Yeah, so this is when a person basically loves to do everything or has a bit yeah, well, of everything in their life, a trade or well, reading or something that they're good at. I think I but, relate to this. But I they have never remastered really anything. Well, so, you know, it's good to be good at a lot of things, but in life you do well, really need to be a master of at least one, one thing that you can say that you consider that to be the best of the best of you. I, I think, think that needs a, to happen. I think you have a def different definition. Of well, sorry, I'm Nigerian. And Nigerians like you to have one thing at yeah. least that you're best at. Could be that obviously the typical is that you're a doctor and you need to be the best doctor well, you can be, or a lawyer. Can't all be you need to be the and best lawyers. doctor or lawyer that you could be, or well, you could be a psychotherapist, or I don't know, a you dancer. Also need or, yeah, that's what I'm leading into dance now mm -hmm. related to art. But, but you need to be the best of it. You can't be saying, oh, I'm a dancer, but on the part time, I just want to do, you know, I don't know, mechanics. But I, I think what? of myself as a jack of all trades and like maybe a master of none. But I, I've always believed that if you do something like I've never wanted to apply myself to just one thing and be boxed into doing this one thing. And I, I always believed if you do a lot of things mm. in the end, you're going to find a way to combine it and and be like a, a master of kind of master of, of all things but you can't if yeah okay so if you're going to be a master of all By being things master sorry, of none. but if you're going to be a master of all things how can you there's nothing that's fine-tuned so you can't actually say you know everything all mm. of these things that you've done you can't really say you're the best at all of them because master is a is a well, big word well, a master means you know it all inside yeah, out and yeah. you can't you really can't That's do that for so many different things but you can be a master of all different things such as all different things okay so like, think, like you said i think right if you're now, a master of one thing you're like it's kind of like being autistic like or having asperger syndrome like you can you can count all these matches on the floor you know like oh 42 42 matches you can't really <laughs> can't really do anything with it in life because life is about being flexible and doing a lot of different things and like yeah that's true but then this is where i think that at the same time when people think that they can be good at everything it, it sort of doesn't make them feel like they're connected to this one thing because i feel i feel like sometimes people like that are a little bit lost do yeah, you not they feel are. a bit lost because lost. you're sort of yeah. like trying to say that you, or feel like you can apply yourself to a lot of things so you, you can feel good about yourself because you are doing a lot of things but really you're well, not closing I, yourself like in it. on I, one thing I think so you are it's it's slightly disruptive in a way it is disruptive but i think it's very weird to just be 18 and decide you're going to be a doctor and that's what you're going to do your whole life and you're just going to dedicate your life to that and you're going to work 12 to 4, to 16 hours every day that's like true. until you're 50 and then you're like that's true. Oh, but that's what am I going to do now? Do that's a poetry if you class. Know your lane and know your your goal in life. Well, you know, you, you, you know, you cool, But what are you missing out of? What drugs are you missing out of? Like, oh, what God, experiences? Where did, where, where did what, drugs what, just like pop into just, that? It's like, just life experiences. experiences you can still it's experiences. get. Experiences like you do drugs. You have sex with a lot of partners. You have a baby. These are the experiences in life. So, like, if you're just doing this one thing, you're missing out of like, uh, I don't know. 75% I'm not a I'm not a mathematician but like something you're missing out on something you could be missing out on something but you're trying to tell me that there's possibly no doctors or lawyers that are not doing drugs even though they reach their goal to be a, lo a doctor or a lawyer. Well, they probably are and they're I don't think you're very really focused on, on on medicine if you're doing a lot of medicine I don't know maybe <laughs> Okay, but lawyers kind of, then I'm not talking about Dr. Hollywood or Dr. <laughs> like, I'm talking about yeah, if you're going to be a surgeon, then obviously <laughs> you don't need to be touching any drugs. Like, no, no, it's fine. But like I was saying about feeling lost and not really knowing, that's another thing where I feel like, like for men as well, when they are sort of, this is the thing, like 
I don't know about other people, but my mum or parents have always said, if you're going to date someone, they at least have to know exactly what their goal in life is. <laughs> That's like a Nigerian thing. Sorry to yeah. have you to home in on it. But you need to know your goal. Yeah, so you need to know where you're going in life, so right? So you're lucky to have found me. This is an exception. <laughs> I don't know how my parents like this guy, but they, they do. So... I don't know. Maybe your characteristics. Okay. Or maybe you are slightly focused, but maybe well, maybe it's focused. just because you're very good at playing the guitar, and I fell in love with that whole music thing too. So I don't know. But exception to the rule. But at the same time, you just it, the focus is the main thing. And again, whilst we're talking about focus, this is where I don't like it. Where there's a lot of the feminists out there that have, I believe, has confused <laughs> the world, confused the world slightly. Because women... What do you have against feminists? No, I don't. I, I, in a way, I think it's good to be a feminist, but at the same time, I think you need to step back a little bit. Because, yes, you can say you're a woman, yes, you can say you're strong, yes, you can say you can do everything, but sometimes you just need someone to do a little bit for you. And that needs to be there for that person to do. And I think when women are just saying, oh, I have to do everything, I have to be strong, I have to be powerful... It's a bit too much. What do you mean, like open doors or? Yeah, like nowadays, like you can, like for me, living in the UK, living in London, before it was really nice to have a man just open a door for you or say, oh, you don't have to, I don't have to sit down, you can take this seat, love. Even just calling love, I think that's quite an endearing term, but for some reason now, women don't like it when men might say love. Baby. Uh, depending on the way they probably said it, but Baby. Then when it is, oh, that's fine, love. What the hell is wrong with using the word love? Like, love. Well, it's, it's because really? it's, it's patronizing. And they're, they're putting themselves uh, a place higher when they're saying, they're saying love. They're saying, like, I'm more than important than you. It's like, I'm going to talk down to you. I think sometimes it can be a polite way for just opening up conversation or just being nice. And then I think there's a line where people have taken that and then just thought that you're now being rude and ridiculing me. And and it's just been blown out of proportion. So getting back to the whole jack of all trades, this is where I think feminists and men in particular, mm. women have made men confused because you now have guys who don't know if they can open the door for you as a woman because it might be like, oh, should I even ask if I can do this? Will she take offence? Or it's guys, if they do do that, why the hell you open the door for me? Don't you know I'm a woman? I can do this. I don't need you to. So you're getting all of that. So I believe that some men are lost in life mm -hmm. because of this situation. So you think women are responsible for the jacks of all trades? I think in Masters some ways that, that could be a possibility. There's been a lot of confusion in this world, especially so in this millennium era. So you think it's because of the breakdown <coughs> of the gender roles? That yeah. because men don't know... Well, well, I have a lot of like feminine qualities. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm not super good at like changing light bulbs and, and fixing things around the house and... Yeah. Although... Oh, I, so you're telling me this now before you're trying to move in with me. Well, That's you know this. Know. <laughs> you know all this stuff. You know, you're going to have to learn this. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I think it's, I think it's good in, in a certain way having sh like strict gender roles that the male is, is strong and is the provider and... But in other cases, this is like men like me that have feminine qualities. Mm. I think it's worse for them because it boxes them in and it tells <coughs> them, "Oh, you have to be this masculine guy, and you have to be like a provider for yeah. your family, and you yeah. have to be." Like so, does that? Are you trying to say then that you would like to be around women who are strong then? and take o over no. that and you prefer a woman to always be on your case and saying doing no. this and having that because if you want don't that. want to be boxed in by a woman saying be a man you're only going to get that's the opposite a, that's where a, it's the woman that's saying a female come thing. on uh, what, uh, that's come on honey we've got to do this now but that's a female gender and then it's, all more, it's more annoying that is, that's what women do that's exactly a female gender that's something that has to change like a woman being this bossy that's what they've always done the man has been in charge, he's been the provider, she's been the knacker. She's been like, oh, do this, like, provide for me, provide for me. I wouldn't call it nagging, I would call it more like the art of persuasion. <laughs> just, just, you know, think about that bit there and think about that on the side. Did you forget what we just spoke about? It's more of a persuasion. Yeah. Because the men kind of forget quite a bit. 
But I like. I that's the <laughs> but I think I think also you're you're not being completely truthful because I think you also like being a strong woman. I think you also like some of the male gender roles. No, don't Although get me wrong. You do I like do. The, I do like the fact that I'm an independent woman. I think hey. you're the same as me. You but like. But the whole point is, <clears throat> you can't be independent for the rest of your life. That's the whole thing. You you just can't. It's not sustainable. And there's sometimes when you just want to. <laughs> Relax, and then the guy knows now that she's relaxed. I'm gonna take over and just. Yes. What does that mean? You know, exactly what it means. It's, it the guy's a little rapey. <laughs> no. The woman's no. relaxed, and the man no. <laughs> want to come in. No, it's just that the man will know that when he has to step up. He's there to step up. That's all yeah. it is. But because I'm trying to say women with all of this rights put out there, men can't do this, men can't do that. He can't go see his child. I'm going to put him with that. They're getting confused by all of this. They don't know when's the yeah. right time to step in. So yeah, I it's agree a with case you. of, you know. I agree with you in a way, but I think isn't it time for men to stop being confused and just be... Be like, real men. Yeah. Not cavemen. <laughs> we don't want that. But just be real men and just be honest with yourselves and then just put put yourself out there. And I'm sure the woman in your life, or women in your life, be a mother, sister, girlfriend, wife, mistress, I don't know. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that on and think, wow, he's empowered. I like that. So, and I'm also empowered. It works. Let's do this together. Rather than this whole imbalance of... You know, baby so, going around certain situations. So, if there's any advice you want to give these confused men, how to treat them, mm. what would it be? Be honest. <laughs> be honest. What do you mean? Like, should they open doors? Should they pick I up the tab? I think they should. I think they should. Yeah. I don't think it's wrong for them to ask and just say, "Can I, can I, t can I take this for you?" I was as a nice favor. And I just want to be polite and just, "Can I do this for you?" If they do it in that manner, then the woman wouldn't feel like, "Why is he just not just doing it?" As in, when a guy might be like, "Oh, I'm going to pay for this," and just, and it might be a bit arrogant. It might come across as arrogant. But if he says, "Oh, it's, do you mind if I can just do this for you?" Yeah. It comes across in a better way, and the woman will feel, "Wow." He's actually asking me, but he's also asking me in a way where I'm kind of feeling good about myself because he's making me feel good because of the way he's asked this question. He hasn't just gone and done it. He hasn't gone, oh, should we split the bill where it puts it up where there's some sort of... We're, we're definitely two, two separate people, you know, even though we, we're trying to um, be together or have a situation or have a relationship or whatever the situation is. But when you make it that there's a divide by asking, let's split the bill... That's not nice either. But then that's why I think men are confused because they're thinking women want to be asked in that kind of way. But they're not. Women just want an honest like, oh, you don't mind if I get this to you? Or can I do that? Is that okay? It doesn't sound yeah. like a man. It is. It's just the way the guy asks <laughs> it. It's just the way it's man, put across. A man would go like, I'm paying this. I'm paying this. No, I'm but then that's where you get the feminists that get annoyed and arrogant because they're yeah, like, oh, that's not, just too he's much. Not he's a just, feminist. you know. He's not dating feminists. Well, maybe the whole point is just ask if she's a feminist first. <laughs> <laughs> Before you do anything, just ask. Are you into yeah. feminism? <laughs> yeah. uh, Write your angry letters to Adana. <laughs> <laughs>